Praise the Lord, everyone. I greet you in the precious name of Jesus. I thank God for what he has done and what he is doing. We realize that he is still in charge of our lives. Even though we're going through this COVID-19 experience, he is still abundantly blessing us. Let me say happy Mother's Day to our beautiful women out there, our mothers. We know you have been busy through the season. You've been helping your children. You've been taking care of your families. And I pray that God has blessed you each and every day. We're glad that you have joined us in our stroll down memory lane. We hope you have enjoyed the videos that we've been putting on our Facebook page and also on our YouTube channel. We have been having a marvelous time putting everything together. Man, as we celebrate and commemorate our 70th church anniversary and the third anniversary of our pastor, many, many years have gone by and God has still been blessing us. We thank him for that. Well, I'm here to present to you the video for today. I am so excited. It, it's a pleasure to be able to introduce this video tonight. This is a video of my mother, Mother Mildred Faison, and she is the speaker at our Southern District Council. I tell you, this is rare. This is a rare vintage video to have her as a main speaker. But we thank God for her because the Lord blessed her in this uh, uh, message. And we just, we're so thankful for her quiet and meek spirit and the words of wisdom that she always had for us. And we're gonna present to you tonight, she's gonna come. And I want you to know that this is gonna be a powerful message from an humble servant. Thank God for her. The message is entitled, Come Unto Me. Come unto me. And we have to come unto Christ at our times of trials and tribulations. And we're so glad that he is receiving us even during this time. We thank God for you. We ask that you tune in now and listen to my mother, my precious and beautiful mother, Mother Mildred Faison. Thank you. May God bless you.
and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And sometimes we have burdens, or we feel like we have burdens, and we feel like they're so heavy. Mm -hmm. But Jesus is saying tonight, today, come unto mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. and I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. You know, I remember as I read the scripture, way back there, even in the Garden of Eden, God, God was only trying to bring a people unto himself. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And even there, in uh, Adam and, and Eve, they failed God. And on down the line, God was trying to call up people unto himself. That's All he wanted God. was companionship. He wanted somebody to come unto him and just be a companion for him. Amen. But man failed God. And I, I remember that Abraham, praise God, God called Abraham, and Abraham came. Praise uh -huh. God, he went out. He said, get out from among your kindred. And Abraham got out. Uh -huh. right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he called a nation, praise right. a nation, right. an Israelite nation, praise God. He said, all I want you to do is to be a light unto the Gentiles. I want Man. you to be my people. That's right. That's right. And he, he, he pleaded with Israel. In many yes. cases, he yes. pleaded with Israel. Man. If you do this for me, I'll do this for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come unto me, Amen. praise the Lord, and I will give you rest. That's right. Praise the Lord. He talked to Israel, and, he, and to me, he had so much patience with Israel. Praise God. And you know what we do? A lot of times we look at Israel because they disobeyed God, and they didn't go with it. But we are sometimes in the same condition. That's, that's right. right. Israel was so disobedient and so had so much unbelief that they wandered in the wilderness 40 years. Praise God. You know what? We wandered into some of us. And the, the will of God is to the saints. Praise God. Amen. Amen. For the sinner, and we want the sinner to hear us. Uh -huh. But until we get our lives straight up and get yeah. our sex straight up, yeah. then God cannot help yeah. the sinner. Yeah. 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 I think we were talking today, I think Sister Vincent and I, talking about there used to be a time, there's somebody we were talking, um, there used to be a time when the sinner could not linger around the saints. Yeah. 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 They could not bring all the stuff into the church that they bring into the church today. Right. Right? Because you know why? We stood up for what we believed in. That's right. Yeah. My sister, Sister Brown, and I were talking about how that my mother and father believed in true holiness. Praise the Lord. And there were things that they did not believe in, and there were things that we just could not do. Right. And I, told, I, I was telling my sister, I said, we, we weren't even saved. We didn't even know, but there were things that they did not allow us to do. Right. There were things that you could not do right. you know, in their house, living in their house. They believed in holiness. But seeing as somewhere along the line, we've let that standard down. Yes. And we've allowed a lot of other things to creep into, oh, yes. right. into the church. Yes. Right. Yes. And that should not be. No. A son should not be able to stand in the midst of stuff. That's right. Yes. Praise yes. Lord. He should, it, a sinner should see so much in us until they want to not move, either move out the way or get saved. That's right. 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 But we've let our guards down, we're better being, and sometimes we just want members. Mm -hmm. yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. We just want members. And I, I've experienced a lot of this, and I, I, I tell my husband all the time, if, if the members, if the people that aren't in the church that my husband passes, if they don't want to be saved, Praise the Lord. You can't make them be saved, but you got to preach the word to them. Yeah. You constantly give them the word, and those who don't want to be saved, they move out. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. And those who want to be saved are stand right there and listen to that yeah. word. Amen. Amen. Also, when I was talking today, Sister Brown, was, and I was talking about when uh, a person who has been in a church a long time and just, just refused to obey the word that they hear. Mm. You know, they're constantly rebellious. I'm not doing it. He's not my daddy. He's not, you know, that's not, she's not my mother. I'm not going to listen to that. Then that person, you have to pray for and turn her loose. But if you got a baby, a baby that just coming into the church, praise the Lord, that wants to be saved and has no strength to, to help himself, then you got to lay You got to lay with that baby, praise the Lord, and bring that baby. Praise the Lord to maturity. Yeah. But, but, the, but the other ones, sometimes you just have to let them go because you can lose out yourself. Word with them. They hear it and sing in the same word. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But for those babies who try and striving to be safe and just weep, sometimes, you know, when you first come into the church, that flesh, you know, tells you, I can do better over there. 
especially if you the kind of person who have had have been out there and you've had a little bit of the world and you had a um, maybe some women have had boyfriends or men have girlfriends, they feel like I can't do without that. I've mm -hmm. got to have it. You got to continue to pray and nurture them mm -hmm. and give them the word of God and bring them unto Christ. Yes. Yes. We need to label with the babies or, or with, this, with the, the people coming into the church. We need to label with them just like a woman in travail. Until yes. we bring forth, praise the Lord. We have to bring forth something. Amen. Praise the Lord. And God is saying unto us today, come unto me. We are the only one that can help us. All right. Come unto me, all ye that are laboring. Praise the yes. Lord, because labor is hard. Sin, sin is hard. Amen. Anybody who's been out there in sin, know that sin is hard. That's right. Lord, you labor under it. Praise the Lord. That's right. That's right. You, you got that conscious. I don't care how big a sinner you are, there's that conscious that we were born with. And we know when we're wrong. Yes. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. If we don't, we, we know we're wrong. Before yeah. we get the Holy Ghost, we know we're wrong. Amen. Amen. So as long as we're sin, that conscience is going to be bothering us. Praise the Lord. It's going to, it's going to wear us. From time to time, it's going to wear us. Praise the Lord. Until we come unto God. And then we, when we start to come. Praise the Lord. It's a process. It's not something That's that right. we can, right. you can do all at one time. All right. Look up that word come. It said arrive. It said to advance. Mm -hmm. yes. It said to approach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It said to reach a particular place or state or position. Mm -hmm. It said to move forward. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a process. So you coming unto God. We're still coming. Yeah. Like yeah. Those of us who been saved a long time are still coming. Mm -hmm. We're still learning. We're still learning. Every time, right. every time I come to church, I get yeah. something that's draw me a little closer. Yeah. 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 You know, Amen. I hear, sometimes I hear the pastor preach on love. And I got to examine myself, do I have enough of it? You know, I, I, I said no. Because, praise God, you can love to do some things, and then there are some, some things you don't want to do. Right? Right. Do I, am I, am I long, do I have enough long suffering? Mm -hmm. You know, can I reach out? Can I reach out when everything seems to be turned against me? Yes. You know, and everything was fighting me, and I used to hear Sister Owen say, and your back is against the wall. Can I reach out? Mm -hmm. Am I able to reach out? Do I have enough to reach out? Yes. Praise the Lord. So therefore, we are still coming to Christ. That's right. Praise yes. Praise the Lord. And the, the Word of God said it. If you must, if you would come to Christ, you must first believe that He is. Amen. He is a reward for them that diligently seek Him. You gotta believe that. Yes. I, I, I mean, you no know, half had to believe it. You gotta really believe that. Yes. If you wanna advance towards Him, yes. if you wanna move forward, you gotta really believe that yes. He is a reward. Right. 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 If you believe you're not gonna get nothing but hellfire when you when you get through, you're not going towards Him. Uh -huh. But if you know you're gonna have sweet peace uh -huh. and you're gonna have heaven, yeah. you're gonna move up. Yeah. Uh -huh. No matter what it takes, oh, you're gonna move right. up. Yeah. You're gonna want to move. You're gonna have a desire to move up. I think one scripture said that everyone that have this hope. Yes. Right. 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 Amen. Right. 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 Yeah. And this is the way we move closer to God. You know, as God talked to Israel and he tried to, um, he chatted with them, praise the Lord, he, wanted, he really wanted these people to be his chosen people, and they still are. They still are. They still have a chance to be yes. saved. Yes. But right now, we have a chance. Mm -hmm. Right now, the Gentiles are in, and our time is, is drawing very close, right. Lord. praise the Lord. If we don't get it now, we won't have another chance. The Israelites have another chance. But in Isaiah um, and one and uh, okay one and sixteen, uh, God said, "Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil." He said, "Learn to do well." Praise the Lord. We've got to learn to do well. Praise the Lord. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead mm -hmm. for the widow. And then 18 said, Come now and let us reason yeah. together. Yeah. Praise the Lord. He's, he's almost begging us. Yeah. Come now yeah. and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Yeah. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Praise the Lord. And the word goes on to say, But 
if you be willing yes, sir. and obedient, yes. you yes. shall eat the good of the land. Oh, yeah. but who wouldn't take a chance at a choice like that? All right. If you be willing and obedient, you right. shall eat the good of the land. All right. You got to be willing and obedient. Yes. Yes. And, 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 and a lot of times I, I hear people say obedience to obey is better than sacrifice, praise the Lord. So you've got to be obedient to the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. But the scripture says, but if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the word. For the mouth of the Lord oh. has spoken it. Amen. So we really don't believe the word of God like we should. Uh -huh. But we hear it oh, and it go in one ear and out the other. And I was, I was um, reading it in Revelation the other night, I believe. And Revelation tells you so many times. He that have an ear, uh, yeah. that oh, ear Jesus. is what the Spirit is saying to the church. Oh, and it's a time, it says it so many times, you know, yeah. it kind of shake you up when you're, when you're reading through that. Because it says it so many times. He that have an ear to hear, let, let him let hear him. what the Spirit yeah. says to unto the church. Or oh, it's a time to hear. Yes. It's a time to, for our ears to be open. Yes. It's a time for God to anoint our ears yes. so that we can hear what the Spirit yes. is saying. Yes. 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 There is so much that we've missed by not having our ears anointed. That's right. Right. That's right. Right. We have so many other things on our mind when we come. We're thinking about, my husband said all the time, they play with the babies, they comb their hair, and they walk and they look at themselves, and they got so many things to do. There's so much talking going on. We need to listen to the word of God. And while we're listening, we need to learn to obey it too. Praise God. The only way that we can draw near to him is to obey. Obey. You've got to learn to obey. All right, in, in the, um, okay. God, God also said in the same chapter in, uh, Isaiah. So your ways are not my ways. Not my way. Way. So therefore you got to change your ways because your ways are not my ways. Uh, your thoughts are not my thoughts. Praise the Lord. You got to, we got to change the way that we think. Sometimes we want things to go like we want them to go. And what we've got to realize that our flesh is always against God. Amen. It's always against oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. We're not that perfect yet. No. We're all, God, our flesh is always against God. Amen. The thing my flesh tells me, me to do, you mm -hmm. is out the will of God. Amen. But then there's a spirit in me, praise yeah. the Holy Ghost in me, overpowers that spirit if I let it. Yes. I've, got to, I, yes. Yes. I've got to let yes. the Holy Ghost rule in my life yes. in order to overpower that, that natural uh, flesh that I got, the spirit that I got. I've got to let the Holy Ghost do it. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Unless I learn to let the Holy Ghost rule in my life, I'll always be following yeah. my, my flesh. Yeah. When my flesh yeah. tells me to stay home, praise the Lord. Oh. And my flesh told me to tell Sister Cox no. And my flesh told me, praise God, tell, tell me to do different things that I, I should not be. But the spirit in me, praise the Lord, tells me to say yes. Yes, yes to the will of God. Praise the Lord. We must let uh, the spirit in us rule. Praise the Lord. Uh, we've got to come his way. I think I had a scripture in Mark 4, 1 through 9. I heard so much today. And... Um, I heard people say so many things, and I kept saying, uh, uh, that's my scripture, that's my scripture, <laughs> praise the Lord. But you know, as I said there, I said, um, even though I, I've never preached to the, taught to the council before, but as I said there, it seemed as though God was speaking to me and saying, all of us hear the same things. Hear the same thing. Okay, we know the same scriptures. Mm -hmm. We are all apostolic people. That's right. So why shouldn't they repeat the scriptures that you have heard? So you, you know, everybody know the same scriptures. So go back and say the same thing that you want to say. Praise the Lord. Just, just do it. Praise the Lord. God was saying to me, just do it. Praise the Lord. Uh, this is Jesus here in, in, uh, in Mark. And the scripture goes on says, he began to teach by the seaside. And there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and set mm -hmm. in the sea. And the whole multitude was by the sea on the land, and he taught them many things by parables, and said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sword to sow. And it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, 
<clears throat> it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. Amen. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew, grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And other fell on good ground, and did yield fruit that mm. sprang up and increased, and brought forth some thirty, and some sixty, and some a hundred. Praise the Lord. This is what we've got to do. We've got to make sure the Word of God falls on good ground. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Many times, when, we, when the Word of God comes, our hearts are not broken up. You know, we come with an attitude a lot of times. We come to church with an attitude. I'm not going to hear nothing that the pastor said today. You know, I'm just not going to worry about nothing. Nobody better not say that to me. You know, I, I, I have that sometimes in Sunday school when I, uh, I'm a superintendent. And, and, and sometimes, every now and then, I, I have a teacher who comes in and she almost almost tells me, don't, don't say that to me this morning, you know. So, I, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm always watchful, so most of the time I'm watchful. So I kind of don't say nothing, praise the Lord, because I know the enemy, and I don't feel that we can really know God without knowing the enemy and how he operates, you know, how he operates. Because sometimes he comes in a real cunning, fly way, and it's just to get you off that, for that day. So that your whole day sometimes is thrown off, messed up, just because of saying something that maybe you should not have said, praise the Lord. So I just, I, I, I just wait. Most of the time I touch cool down. Then when she cool down, then I go talk to her. But praise the Lord. This is what we do sometimes. We come with an attitude. You know, the enemy attacks us at home sometimes. We're not families or whatever. And, and, and I, I find this a lot with the younger people. They may have a spat at home and they bring it to church. And everybody knows that they've had a spat at home that, that day with the husband and wife because they bring it to church. Praise the Lord. So what you really need to do is when we call, we need to have our hearts broken up. Ready for the word of God. Amen. Church. Yes. One of the things that we need to do when we come in is to be ready to worship. Yes. This is a place of worship. That's right. Right. That's right. This is not a place of talking, chatting, and telling things on people right. and all. It's not, it's not for that. That's we right. come here to worship God and to hear the word of God. So we come, we need to break our hearts up, have our hearts broken up, so that when the word falls, it'll fall on good ground. Right. And when it takes root, then we can go out and we'll produce fruit. Yes. We'll produce fruit that's right. Year. That's right. I, I, I heard uh, my pastor say last week that the fruit, it takes some something to produce that's fruit. Right. Uh -huh. Yes. He said a lot of times gifts and callings come without repentance. Sometimes people have nice gifts. Nice. And I you know, and I a lot of times down throughout my lifetime, praise God, I've had people just to, you know, kind of throw up on me because I don't have the gift of preaching. And they would, you know, say funny things to me. You would open your mouth, if you would do this and that, you could preach and you could do this and all that. But see, I know what God told me to do. And I know, praise God, I know what he told me to do. But the attitude that some people have when they come into the church is that I I, I can do this by myself. That's you right. cannot do nothing by yeah. yourself. Yeah. You have to let God do yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. I praise the Lord. I, I truly praise the Lord even for the opportunity to come and to, and to speak tonight. Yeah. It's not a whole lot I can say that have been said already. Yeah. But praise the Lord. But we must think on this when we go home that God wants us to come unto him. Praise the Lord. And another scripture tells us that he said, come boldly yeah. to the world of God. Amen. He can find help in time of need. Oh, yes. If you come boldly, praise the Lord. But we must come as he wants us to come, not the way that we want to come. Praise the Lord. That's what the scripture said that he would, if we come to, come to Christ, he would in no wise cast us out. Praise the Lord. Yes. Oh, praise the Lord. Also, in Timothy 2 and 3, Praise the Lord. And this is Paul, praise the Lord, talking here. And um, the scripture is saying, Thou therefore and do a hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that war retain on himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. Praise God. If God has chosen us to be a soldier, then we please him. Praise God. We don't please ourselves. We can't please ourselves. We have to please him. Because he's the one that chose us to be a soldier. Praise God. And I'm glad to be a soldier. Praise God. I'm glad to be a soldier. Uh, the scripture also says, if a man also strive for mastery, yet is he is he not crowned, except he strive for all of this. 
praise the Lord. So it has to be, it has to come about in the right way. Right. You have to do it the right way. You have to read the word of God, hear the word of God that is being preached, and then set out to obey the word of God. Uh -huh. that, to me, that's the biggest thing about hearing the word of God is obeying it once we hear it. Praise the Lord. And a lot of times, because we don't obey, we are cursed. We somehow we don't even know that we're, we're being cursed. He has wondering why in the world I'm going through this. But God will not have us come in here and play with him. Praise the Lord. This is not a playhouse. This is not a place to come in and play and have a little bit of everything going on in our lives and in our minds while we're here. Praise God. This is a place of worship. This is a place of hearing the word of God. This is a house of preparation. Praise the Lord. We come here. We come to get prepared to go to heaven. <laughs> heaven is not is no dirty place. No, Praise God. Heaven is a clean place. Praise heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. Yes. Yes. Praise God. And we don't prepare ourselves. Praise Praise God. God. We cannot go to heaven. Praise yes. God. I want you to continue to pray for me. And I want you, as you go, continue to come unto him. Praise Praise every day of our life, we have to come unto him. Continue to come unto him. And he will give us that rest that we need. Praise, praise the Lord. Pray my strength. Hallelujah.